Hey guys, it's me, Urban Gardener, the Happy Cultivator. And today, I want to do a little bit of run and review of the Traxxas slash 4x4 Ultimate. So what I have here is the Slash 4x4 Ultimate by Traxxas. It is a fully loaded, short course, 10th scale RC car. Got some pretty nice graphics on the body, as you can see. That's the way it comes stock. Have the body pins off so I can show you the inside really quick. As you see, it's got a really nice, strong, aluminum anodized drive shaft this car of course is four-wheel drive so here's your gearbox your valenian brushless motor 3500 kv and there's your vxl 3s speed control and a waterproof enclosed receiver box fully digital and it's got metal servos it's got the upgraded anodized turnbuckles, got the anodized upgraded shocks. It's got front and rear sway bars. Today we will be running it with a Traxxas 5000 milliamp LiPo, one of their ID batteries. So let me hook her up and we'll take her for a run. This is going to be a blast. Alright, so I have the track set up for just a little nice short clip. So I can just give you guys a quick run with this. I just wanted to set up the course for a nice tight shot here so you guys could really get a look at what this Traxxas Ultimate can do. Very tight short course here. But... Another thing about this Traxxas IQ system is you can set it up for a beginner and novice driver to where the car will actually correct itself when it starts getting loose and things. Pretty awesome technology. The other thing that this car comes with is something called Traxxas Link and you can download something from iTunes or the uh, Android App Store to which you can have a virtual dashboard with this car and it actually tells you what kind of speed you're working with it. For instance, when I first broke this car out of the box and ran that system, I found out that I had gotten this car up to 33 miles an hour on this short little track here. pressing the trigger right now and it's just got one on that's the one thing I don't like about this particular vehicle is it does get some one on to where it'll just run on its own and you do have to, to hit the reverse to get it to stop throwing on the brake but honestly the, the car is a pretty cool car so that little bit of light run on hasn't bothered me so far See, there you go, there's one on again. See that? But if you hit, just hit reverse, it'll stop. So, it's one thing I don't like about the car so far. And there you go, you got more light on going. Now, I could um, go into the settings on this car and try to fix that up. I haven't had this car for a long time now. I've only had it for 
approximately uh, 10 days and I've only really run it three times. I just haven't had, I've got lots of RC toys and so still getting used to it and I still have not taken the time to do that set. All right guys, so I have done a little research, found out that from time to time they say you have to recalibrate the speed control. However, I have only run this car like three or four times, so to have to recalibrate the speed control, well, let's see what happens. Hopefully this solved the problem. So I'm going to go spin it around the track a couple of times, see if I have any throttle run on problems, and then I'm going to come back and tell you whether or not the problem was fixed. All right, let's see if this problem's fixed. Yesterday, when I was filming the original review video for this truck, there was some throttle lag that was happening. And what was happening is, well, you guys will see in the video. I don't have to tell you. You guys saw what was happening. Well, due to that throttle lag, I was doing a little research and found out that you do have to recalibrate the speed control from time to time. So it seems that this has worked. We'll do the whole run here. And, and of course, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole run. I mean, these batteries do last for quite a long time. However, I will tell you if any lag occurs, I will pick up this camera and I will show you guys. So far, so good. Okay, so yesterday I was really upset and saying, I don't know about this truck, guys. I don't know if you should buy it. But now that I've calibrated the speed control, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable telling you guys this is a really, really, really great truck. A lot of fun. The four-wheel drive in it you know, makes it a little bit more stable and easier to drive for the novice driver. Very quick with the three-cell LiPo in it, as you can see. I will tell you, you will have some problems with your speed control calibration. And from the footage that I will show you from yesterday, you will see what happens when throttle run on happens. If you should experience throttle run on with your Traxxas slash 4x4 Ultimate, all you need to do is go to a video on YouTube, which I will link in the description, and simply calibrate your speed control. bit different pattern with it. See, I build in a little diversity so we can mix it up a little bit. Make it.
you would think that the track with the hairpin in it is the more difficult layout, but believe it or not, this is the more tricky layout. You guys an idea of my track time at this angle. Oh, and there it is, boys and girls. That is the end of that lipo run. We did not get any more of the throttle lag and run on, so that's nice. The calibration did work. What's my review of the Slash 4x4 Ultimate by Traxxas? It's a car that hauls butt. It's got all the goodies I like. The one thing that I can say that I'm disappointed a little bit with is the uh, throttle run on. But once you calibrate it, it gets it back. It just Kind of a bummer that only four or five runs you're gonna have to do that hopefully that doesn't keep up i'll let you guys know later how often i do have to do things like that so but my review of this car is i love it it's a great four by four it handles really well as you can see it is super fast turns on a dime it has lots of customizable settings um, I could go either way on that because sometimes that does add a little bit more troubleshooting. But all in all, I give it a thumbs up and I do like the car if you got the money to put into it. It is a little pricey at a little closer to the $600 range. It's upwards of $550. But very nice car. And I do like it. It handles the kind of brutality that I throw at cars. As you guys can see, I throw a lot of brutality at my cars. With that, guys, I say keep happy, stay stoned, and Urban Garden. So stay tuned for another review, guys, because I'll keep them coming. Next review is probably going to be that SC10 from Team Associated.